Welcome to this little video where I show the only the interesting part of the game. I had made an autosave before uh, one turn or two turns before the war declaration, and um, then I didn't play what happened then. But uh, I will see what happens if I can prevent dying during this and. Uh, also, I have an interesting bug fix now because uh, you will see when once I enter turn what the bug fix is. The bug fix is that uh, before there was a bug that only one message per turn could be received from the AIs. So uh, this shall be uh, now they are all able to send messages to me. So there will be quite a lot of them, at least in this turn. And uh, hide one's tribute. I reject this, but he also wants to offer a non-aggression pack, which I accept, and open borders, I accept. And Palomino <laughs> wants tribute, offers to share maps, non-aggression pact, and open borders. And Gardinier offers to share maps, and he wants tribute, and I refuse it. Okay, so I now do know a lot of about the map and can look around. But I, I still have peace, so maybe... Uh, oh, here's a very tiny city. I think they just must have founded it. Okay, they... Oh, size 58 city. That's quite huge compared to my size 24 city. Now this difficulty is uh, very hard. Um, I haven't won on very hard since two or three games. Uh, this has been patched. Uh, some other stuff, for example, the mining. The AI always built too few mines before, and now the formula and the algorithm has been changed. So as you can see, there's uh, almost all of their territory now is full of mines, and so they won't run out of minerals so fast. Uh, before this one is not the mining city, it's more like research, I guess. Yes. Also interesting. Uh, let's have a look again. Yeah, but uh, the the parts where mines could be built. Well, here's suburbs, but because the city grew so fast, so it it doesn't mean everything is mined. There's still an algorithm that prevents that or that uh, says if something else is quite important it will be used instead of a mine but it will be a lot of mines okay my scout doesn't have to scout so much anymore because I got uh, the maps shared and here I put the road and and turn Uh, who do you want me to declare war on Palomino? Uh, I refuse. Privately denounce Palomino. Okay. And who does also Palomino? I reject. I just. And who she wants to declare war on Gardini? I reject it. Yeah, I think there have to be. Uh, now that this works, uh, that every message the AI wants to send to you also is received, I'll have to do something about the massive amount of messages they send. Maybe they should limit themselves. Mm. Oh, here we have the war declaration. Yeah, I I pretty much knew it was coming. So, but from now on, I will. Yeah, here we have a unit of them which I will destroy. And I'm running out of food. Let's see. Okay, not 
this and I will increase my am I mining every mine I didn't before and here well we still need some production but I want to mainly produce in my capital Yeah, I think this is enough. I mean, I have a slight negative income, but the, since the pollution is quite high, I, I'll leave it that way. Equipment modification is being built. Okay. Yeah, I think it is more interesting to just uh, watch a war instead of watching the whole game. I've been using a little trick with uh, the former. Someone told me about that. You can put the uh, what is it called? The ampharometer or so. Ne ferro uh, You know what I mean. Uh, the thing that can gives you control over aliens. You can put it on formers, and then you can capture way more aliens and don't have to waste uh, noble units for that. So, okay, what do we need here now? Well, considering that I now have pollution, I will build a purifier. There it is. And this plane will come back to my territory first. Enemy colonists, okay, I've dealt with it. Okay, next turn. And there's some orbital bombardment. He wants to share maps and more share maps. Now I know everything. Throne excavation center. This is great. Can I purchase one of those? I want this one immediately. I'll be getting much more minerals this way. And here we have a ship. Uh, nope, this is not going well. I'll need a plane to counter this one. And you go. Well, maybe this is not too safe either. But uh, right next to the ship is especially unsafe. This one, I think it cannot attack from the water, so I will continue building. Ah, I might use the plane actually to kill that one. Yeah, good idea. And this, uh, these units are damaged due to the orbital bombardment. Which he could do because he placed this one unit uh, next here. This gave him vision to uh, do this with a little delay. I think he shouldn't be able to do it again, so I'll just heal up now. Okay, research. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, this is also expensive now. Yeah, gauze optimization. I need this armor. This will help me with all my units I currently have. I, I think I can upgrade them after that. Uh, I'm thinking about bombarding this, but this is only one unit, and there might be more to come. Yeah, there's some more. Oh. Uh, this one is much stronger the other one and here's one as well uh, he tries to denounce me which I decline but I can now get away from here this one retreats something over here there's, an, uh, there's also some units and I don't have good stuff against mechanical units but I think I have this one which should be able to attack without uh, it's pretty rounded yeah he can attack without being countered 
and we will bombard this now. And I'll really need to get this up here. Yeah, one turn for both. Um, I'll increase production here. Don't want to really increase the production here because of the pollution. Unfortunately, I had to discontinue building my purifier. So, let's heal up here. The problem is that this thing might go through my units. And should I attack him because... Well, no, I, I still... I would also like to have this but this would be this would take even longer to research well and there's more units oh he's attacking with an artillery this is also new in this uh, patch in the next patch I mean this is not out yet it's still development version for me that the AI uses uh, artillery units and I'll have to snipe it because otherwise it will mean more harm to my city. Oh, what? Um, this is not looking good. But I'll I'll get one of those every turn now. Uh, I might want to get a, an Avenger tank of this to defend. Workshop, Avenger tank. Uh, still no better armor. I might change this around because I need defenders and attackers as well. How about this city? Oh, whoa, 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 ouch. Oh. <laughs> uh, this game, I guess, is pretty much over. We have an artillery here, a tank, anti tank tank, and here, yeah, this is all anti mechanical, and here is much more units, and the ships is also. A lot, so let's use the Ningen. No, let's not use the Ningen because it is dead for some reason. Yeah, orbital bombardment was used again. Ah, but my plane is coming back. And it still has movement points left. This is great. Um, I'm sending this to the city so he can tank a little. And choosing production. I will buy something here. This Avenger tank. No, wait, actually. Yeah, no, I'll get a uh, Colonial Trooper with a missile. And he doesn't even need this. He can go like that. Okay, Colonial Troopers two turns, but I want it in one turn, and then I want another one, which I will purchase as well, I guess. Uh, but it looks like I might not even survive this next turn. Mm, the Colonial Trooper already died. They are attacking both cities at the same time. Sixty four combat power. Oh, and there's some more artillery. Um, oh, the city is lost, and the city is lost as well. So, what can I do? It's hard to reconquer a city with, um, with this one unit. I need to cause harm to them. Maybe I can. 
Well, I cannot reconquer a city with a plane anyways. So, I guess this is it for this game. <laughs> um, hmm, there's a damaged unit, but I can't go quite that far. What about this artillery? I have 31% chance to beat it. Now I will just hide in, a, in some corner. Well, but uh, it doesn't make much sense. I just let it be destroyed next turn. Oh, and some people declared some wars here. Non-aggression pact. Accept. Open borders. Accept. No tribute for you, my friend. An alliance. Oh, now you like me. Now that I'm dead. Okay, maybe they have now retreated all their troops and I can capture my city uh, or at least kill the units inside it. Mm. Yes, I consider I will declare on height and I do denounce those. Do I have Warvis height now? It doesn't show so. Maybe because I have no units or so. Or something doesn't work. What difference does it make to the dead, the orphans and the homeless, whether the mad destruction is wrought under the name of totalitarianism or in the holy name of liberty or democracy? Mahatma Gandhi, non-violence in peace and war. Hmm, wise words from Gandhi. So let's check the graphs and total the red guys where I had. Quite imaginable. Oh, they have Shimper. I don't think Shimper is usually one of their cities. I think they took it from the, the teal ones. Um. Diplomacy. Yeah, I was first in diplomacy. I was liked a lot by everyone. Economy. I didn't do that well in economy. Now those are the first because they captured my cities. Military. Yeah, at least I was killed by those with the strongest military. And here you can clearly see... Uh, or even here. Yeah, this is what they have lost in the war against me. And research. Well, I was a little bit behind, I suppose, but yeah, only a, a small little bit. So that was it from this um, little video. Let's play one part, let's play or so. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.